What's up, everybody? We're playing some Tiamat. We are becoming the mother of dragons and just trying to punch face with giant monsters. Uh, the hand's garbage, so we're switching to this one, which is slightly better. Got a scry land and two uh, signet and a relic, so we got mana rocks. Give me a land. That's okay. So we have blue, green, blue, black, green. Okay, and we have everything here. Um, I will do this. Because then we can use temple next turn. Ishin's probably going to drop here. No Ishin. Okay. Mirror Breaker. That's a pain. Okay, so actually what we're gonna do, I was gonna drop the Sky Clay Relic, but we're actually going to Lysian Dryad. And we're honestly gonna do one of these. Um, Sarkon doesn't really help us. He's gonna have a big board state because he's Ishin. So we don't want a Planeswalker. We want creatures. So I think the move is probably going to be Kami to exile something of his, which will probably be Ishin. And then we can return uh, create a treasure token. He's going to create two because of Ishin. Um, we are going to block it though, because you gross. Uh, he might be able to kill the Dryad, but I'm willing to take that risk. Oh, actually, we can't. No, we can. Okay. So, we have an option here. We're going to uh, go black, I think, was the one I didn't have. Untap. We don't need a scry. We are going to Kami. Because he has elected to leave Ishin open. He can recast Ishin, but it'll cost him five mana and both of his treasures. Um, then we tap the steam vents. We get swing out. I'm comfortable with him not having haste, even though he's in red. <clears throat> oh, shit. Okay, that's interesting. So he could become, uh, Eshin, which would be a problem. He has six mana. He could do a lot with that. He could drop Ishin in or a bigger, uh, few more creatures. Krenkos, that's a card. Whenever he attacks, okay, so that's going to trigger twice if Ishin comes out. So I think the move is Miriam. Miriam Tiamat, probably? Maybe I should Tiamat first. Uh, we're going to return... Oh, uh, we could return Kiki Jiki. Um, yeah, we're going to return the Kingpin to his hand. Because he'll have to decide between playing Krenko or Ishin. Ketria Trial. I think we're going to Tiamat. So we're going to go get five dragon cards. Uh, Gnawbone. Me personally, I really like a, a mixture of damage and utility. Uh, so I grab Goldspan, Gnawbone for the treasure to keep casting stuff. Fearsome Whelps so things cost less. And then you can kind of go whichever way you want. I'm going to go Terror because I want damage to be able to damage stuff as they come in. And I'll go probably as a fail safe, I'll grab Bladewing in case something does die and I'll let it die. Um, we could attack here, but I'm actually going to keep it up. Uh, I Probably should have attacked him. He wasn't gonna block with Geeky Jiki. Free damage. <clears throat> so I think next turn we uh, Fearsome Welt. Uh, or I guess we could do Terror Fearsome Welt. I might do Miriam. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to Gnaw Bone. I don't know what I'm doing. So this is this is where positioning your plays is really important. So Gnawbone first. Let's see what he does. Uh, 
Move to attacks. Does he kill Nabo? I pro he probably can't. Swing with Tiamat. Mm, we then... So can I play Miriam? Actually, okay, so we're, what we're gonna do is Miriam. Auto pay. And then we'll do Fearsome Whelp, and that'll be... He'll come in, there'll be two of them, so we're gonna reduce everything by two. All of our dragons by two. So Goldspan's gonna cost, Goldspan and Terror's gonna cost three, and then Blade Wing's gonna cost five. Instead of seven. Play our land for turn. It'll, we'll have it under tap. So we have quite the board state. He could board wipe, but I'm not too scared about it because then we can just gold span terror and grab blade wing if he so chooses. So he's probably going to bring Ishin in, I imagine. He can return a creature back. Okay, so he's grabbing probably Aklazots. Yeah. Which I, I would agree is the right decision. I'm not gonna block here. I don't really care about this damage. <clears throat> this isn't particularly scary, to be honest, because we can just blade, uh, we're going to Terror. Because then we're gonna do five damage to a couple things. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of a losing situation for him. If he didn't have board wipes in his deck, he was kind of screwed. Awfully unfortunate. Next one. <clears throat> Dina Soul Steeper. Okay, so this is probably a combo deck involving uh, what would it be? Exquisite Blood, the same thing that uses Veto and all that. So, um, we have a bit of a slower hand. Um, what do I do here? Because we could, could go Sprite Dragon, but I don't think it's going to be too relevant what we do first. Goose, that's pretty good. I think we'll keep that on top. So green, white, red, black. So we need a blue out of the temple. Okay, so he's probably going to get rid of Knobbone. That's what I would do. He might get rid of Gadrick. I wouldn't be mad at that. For me, it would be Gadrick or Knobbone. I feel like Ky Kyrie is... I disagree. I disagree. I, I don't agree with that. That move. Uh, so we want blue out of this. Um, he already knows everything, so... Um, we'll put the goose out. And now we have four mana to work with, so we're ahead on curve a little bit. Dina's probably coming out. Yep. He has a life linker, so I'm gonna be losing life. Um, I will block it, though. So, if we, uh, get rid of Deep Cavern Bat, we can bring, uh, what's-his-face back. But we are actually going to just and have this enter tapped. Auto pay. So he has the option to kill a Godric, or a Gadric. Not Godric, this isn't Elden Ring. <laughs> But, um, he'd be spending mana to do it on a, on a card that I'm kind of whatever on. I'm using Gadrick as a blocker until he spends mana to kill it. We are a little, we're falling behind, though, on, in terms of mana. Ow. That's not great. Uh, discarding cards is not what I want to do. Um, let's go find something. 
Um, probably red, green, blue, black, white, I guess. Oh, I don't have a forest out there. Oh, okay. Probably blue then, if I'm gonna discard star mounts. Which I'm probably gonna have to do, so I'm gonna grab blue. Um, and then we're gonna wait. We're gonna hold the goose for blocks. And we'll see what he does. I will discard a card. It's going to be Inferno. I wanna keep Kyrie. Maybe I should have kept Inferno. I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, transforms into a curse of leeches. The beginning of the enchanted players. Some kid that lose. Okay. That's annoying. Is that a shrine? That is a curse. Okay. It's not a shrine. So we're still only discarding one card. Which is annoying, but not impossible to deal with. He's probably not going to attack. Yeah, okay. Create a food token. My turn. This is gonna hurt. Actually, does this infinite combo? No, it doesn't. Okay, swamp, six mana, so I can only do Kyrie. Which is fine. Um. But now he's gonna, he's forced to do something, so I am. I think I need to discard Darget. I really need Nawbone in case I can get seven mana out. Which I can do if I get a land? Six mana? No, I won't be able to. So I'm probably gonna be discarding Nawbone regardless. Which is unfortunate. Search to the, search to the top third. Oh, that's bad. So he's gonna get something to kill Kyrie. So if he does do that though, he's retur I'm returning a bunch of shit to his hand. So he's he's got a, a bit of a decision making to do. I'd rather leave the ball on his courts. If if you can, word of advice to new magic players, if you can force somebody to make a decision, that's always a better position than you deciding something. I would rather leave it up to them to make a bad decision. Um this hurts. So we're gonna be able to scry here. I gotta see if I can get a land off the top. Cause that's gonna dictate what I do. I cannot, but I can get, okay. So I'm gonna discard Gnawbone regardless. So I'm going to just scry that to the bottom in hopes that I get a better dragon. And then we are going to not attack. Cause he has, well, I guess I should start pressuring him a bit. He might block with Cavern Bat, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we'll just attack. Because I'll slowly poke him for six, and uh, I am going to start losing life. Especially from Stone Fangs and Dina. But I can't do anything about it, so. We are kind of stuck here. That's pretty bad. More lifelink is not great against us, because we are really getting, getting low in life toll. He attacks, I'm assuming. Pass the blocks, I'm doing this, this. I will sacrifice Gadrick for the bit. I assume he has something to deal with either Gadrick or buff the Leeching Lurker. It's fine. Um, yes, we are going to create a food though. And then I can tee him out and go get a bunch of dragons. That is quite all right. We are losing a lot of life here though. And Hond in, in Stone Fangs is really kind of driving me up the wall. Um, I actually think we're not gonna, it's gonna sound crazy. I, I don't think we're gonna play land this turn and we're gonna go for more damaging stuff. So uh, we're going to grab Terror. We need like cheaper 4-4s. Four um, Thunderbeak. Barracks. Three damage, is that doable for somebody? Yeah. Um, we're still gonna grab Whelp. 
And honestly, Miriam, maybe? We need quicker things. So those are probably my five. Because now we're going to discard two, which is going to be the land that I didn't play. Man, his life total is ridiculous right now. So as long as we can play Terror and the Whelp, I think we can start snowballing stuff. Because we are going to deal with Zolopo Cutthroat. Um, so land... Thunderbeak? Is that the move? Actually, I think it's Thunder... Yeah, we're gonna discard Thunderbeak. Because with Varric still coming with the dragon... Uh, or another creature entered... Okay, so I think what we want to do is Varric is Terror Whelp. To get rid of the Zolpork Cutthroat. Because that's the best I can do. We are gonna take quite a bit of damage here. Um... He probably has another way to... Yeah, I might be dead here. Maybe I should have grabbed a dull gold dragon so I could get the life gain. Yeah, this hurts a lot. So another two life. Oh, I lose. GG's. Yeah, we're just a little slow there on the draw. Didn't have enough shit to do. Wasn't too bad though. Wasn't too bad. That was that was a uh, that was a good game. Next one. This feels familiar. Okay, I am going to keep this hand. We have a lot of uh, ramp with the Gilded Goose and Lotus Cobra. So we are going to do this to get Goose out right away. Then we'll rootbound Crag into Lotus. Boom. Boom. Because then we can do Thriving Grove uh, into something. I don't know what we'll do. Probably a Tushi. At Sushi. I mean. Bunch of ramp. Bunch of ramp. Bunch of ramp. Um, so, black, green, red, blue. Don't have white, so it looks like white's the color we're grabbing. Um, we want red for at sushi. Not okay. Um, no attacks. Because then we can Zagoth Triumph into whatever we get next, uh, I guess. We do want to play Zag Zagoth Triumph, though. Yarok! Looking pr Okay, so this is not looking a little scary for us. We want white so we can spend it for Nadar. We want to scry one, probably? Yeah, we're gonna scry one. Um, Nickel Bolas. Nickel Bolas. We could potentially get, uh... Honestly? Sure. Well, mm. And just about for each opponent discards a card. Okay, I think we'll keep them. We'll keep them there. We will keep them there. Um, we're going to keep a sushi up in case he is able to swing out, because I want a sushi to die. Creating three treasure tokens. Yeah, we got. Hmm. Okay. Cause we could. What I think I might do is. Bright Dragon. I don't know what bro is doing. He's got six mana. Oh, he's got five mana. <laughs> five mana, what can he do? Bro is talking to his mother right now.
Okay, so I think we blood crypt, pay the life, and then we want probably a blue. What do I, what do I need for? So I just need a green. Yeah. Okay. So then we have does this play. Yeah. Okay. So then we have Nicol Bolas. It's gonna discard a card, and then we can pay two for Gilda Goose at any point to. To um, get a thingy. We could attack here, but we're not gonna, because Yarok would hurt. And I think our opponent is back, so he's gonna drop something. Oh! He's just stacking up the triggers. Let me play Lance from a graveyard. Okay, so we want treasure token. Six mana, seven mana. Or Tiamat. I guess I didn't have to do that. Shit. Tiamat. Oh, I actually I, I managed to save mana. Okay, so here we want Gnawbone. We I think we still want Terror. Terror and Sentinel. And yeah, Sentinel Worm. Miriam. Gold Span, probably. And let's grab the Whelp. That's not what I wanted. Well, there's the five. And here we do not want to do anything. So we have a few options. So with Nicol Bolas, we could transform into a Bladeswalker and have him nuke stuff. Um, see if anything is a graveyard, nothing really relevant. So we could actually, in theory, we could deal 10 damage to Ancient Green Warden and then grab him. This is, uh, it really depends on what he does. Because what I, I also wanted to mirror him fearsome well. To make everything cost nothing. But I guess I could just, no, what am I saying? Okay, I know what I'm doing. Gnawbone into swing into lots of stuff. <laughs> just don't board what? Ancient Green Warden, okay. Okay, he's set up for something really big. One one really good ETB trigger, and I'm kind of cooked. So, it looks like he does not have enough mana, though, to deal with anything. So, I think... Okay. So, what we need is... Gnawbone. We need to swing. Oh, he has reach. Okay, we're actually gonna do it like that because I want Atsushi to die still. Double block Tiamat, you say? That actually didn't work at all the way I wanted it to. Yeah, we'll take the action. This is actually kind of bad. Um, I can get terror out here. Oh boy. Yeah, this is kind of a misplay on my end. I think we fear some whelp. Sprite dragon? And just pray that he doesn't have anything to do that's gonna be terrible. Cause then we can Miriam, Goldspan, Terror, we have we pretty much win next turn. Mole Drifter! Okay. These ETBs aren't that great, in my mind. So he has four mana left. Can he get anything... Did he get anything good off it? Mimic? Okay. Another Ancient Green Warden. You have one mana now, left. So he has a bunch of... Okay, I see why he did that now. So he, so he could get a bunch of Reach creatures in. Okay. So Miriam... Can he counter Miriam? Oh boy. Okay. So, hmm. I think we just want to poke him because I want him to block at sushi. Because he's either going to block him, I get a bunch of treasures, or he dies and I get a bunch of treasures. So I win either way. But he probably should not block. 
but he blocks. So I get more treasures. Give me three treasures. Because now I can terror. And unless he can counter it, unless he can counter it, he cannot. Five damage to Yarok? Yarok or the Green Warden? Probably Yarok. Yeah, either way. Yarok, he can recast, but he has to pay the mana to do it. Unless he can give Hexproof, in which case, yeah. That is quite all right. I think we'll do this then. Okay, Goldspan costs nothing. I can recast Tiamat for... No, I can't. Never mind. I be, I'll be able to next turn, probably. He's probably going to get rid of Terror in some form or fashion. Oh. Fuck. Okay. non token creatures you control are forest. Okay, so he has a bunch of land. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Sorry, okay. Artifact or enchantment. I only have Signet. Nothing I got are enchantments, bud. So actually, now I think about it, with Miriam, I think I just get... I get two... Do I get two triggers? No, I wouldn't. I, I guess because it wouldn't be a cast. He's getting a lot of things here, so he should put a lot of shield counters on... If it were me, I'm putting uh, two shield counters, one on each of the Green Wardens. I would just stack them on the Green Wardens, honestly. That's what I would do. Because then he can really sacrifice blocks at that point. Here comes the target of a spell. Okay. So I think we gold span. Huh. Okay, I do have... Okay, this is pretty bad. He's got a lot of stuff with reach now. This is an issue. So I think we gold span. Because I can get rid of... This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Oh, I messed that up. Shit. Well, it's fine. So now we will swing with both gold spans. The. Hmm. We'll swing just to get a trigger off of. The... how many blockers do you have? Okay, so you can block whatever with that. That's probably it? Honestly, he doesn't have a lot of flying blockers, so we'll just poke him for... Actually, I'll keep the whelp. Mmm... let's do that. Create a treasure token. Okay. Because he can block the gold span. He should block both gold spans. Maybe I should have swung out. I should have swung out. Fuck. Well, we're gonna do this, I guess. Mm, okay, so actually, does he have anything? Whenever another creature. So I could grab the Green Warden. Let's grab the Green Warden. Okay, which actually should trigger something kind of interesting. So let's get rid of this Green Warden. 
Let's get rid of the uh, industry titan. Okay, he can do a lot here, but not as much as previously, and I don't have a lot of blockers, but I, Ashaya doesn't have trample yet, and he only has one card in hand, and it's a goose. <laughs> so we're, we're looking okay. He can get a bunch of life though, I guess. That's kind of nice. He just swings out. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with that, but you know what? Let him cook. Okay, so what we do is probably... We want to do this to Ashaya. Give uh, Yarok, that guy, Whelp. So I'm taking 4 times 4, 16. So block Warden. Block the... Uh, Mold Drifter... No, okay, so 4, 8, 10, 14. 15, 16, 17. So we can block these guys with this. Boom! Combat in a nutshell. Okay, and you know what's crazy? We win this. Um. I always have an answer. Boom. Oh, it does trigger twice. Okay. Boom. Submit the five. Um, probably this guy. We don't really care about Shy if she doesn't have any creatures out there. We could just zap him a bunch, but I'm going to be swinging out at him and I want to do more. <laughs> I'm just, I ain't going to lie. No. No. <laughs> I guess. Um. So he's taking 15, 21, 28 here. So 21. 21 treasure tokens. Uh, let's get Blade Wing in. To bring back... Honestly, <laughs> the whelp. <laughs> Alright. Um, gold span. Oh boy. Behold. I am the mother of dragons. That's Ben Tiamat. Love y'all. God bless.